So today, since Trump cannot handle, oh, sorry, hello there. Since Trump cannot handle not being able to piss and moan and, and bitch about other people that, you know, are speaking against him, he can't handle that. His fragile little baby head, his little baby brain cannot handle not being adored and worshipped. His little narcissist baby in him has to speak, has to attack. He can attack anybody but jurors, witnesses, judges, uh, courtroom people, anybody involved in that stuff, the judge's family, stuff like that. Fair enough. Attack the judge all you want. But he is so unable to handle not being able to do that by being threatened that next time, he's done it like a dozen times, next time he's going to be thrown into jail for 24 or 72 hours or something. So to avoid doing that, what he did in court today was he brought J Senators J.D. Vance and uh, Tumblin Tumberville uh, it's Tuberville, but he's tumbling because he, you know, anyway, um, if he saw him falling down the airplane stairs last year. Um, by the way, I just want you guys to know that Tuberville is a senator from Alabama, but he lives and does business in Florida. But because his son has the same first name as him, there's something like a house or something registered in his son's name that it's that he's using that is that it's his how are they going to tell the difference if they don't have junior or senior on there which they don't um and that is clear fraud clearly <coughs> <coughs> sorry allergies <coughs> um Seriously, would you want a sen senator representing your state and the guy lives and the person lives in another state? They don't care about your state that they're representing because they don't even live in it. They don't do business in it. They probably don't even travel to it. But yet they're representing you. All Alabama people should be highly pissed off about this he doesn't d go in uh try to run for florida when it's open because they have a florida has a stranglehold with red you know with maga and so he would you know just be him between him and gates or another you know maga so they want to like spread out not just you know fight each other they'd rather fight a democrat or something so that he goes to the state over where his son has property, which is incredibly bullshit to me. This is how the Republicans have to do things to, to even get as far as they do. Tells you something. But he, uh, Tuberville and J.D. Vance came, Trump had then come as like witness or, you know, to the court. But then they spoke and attacked all the people that Trump is gagged, ordered, that he can't attack during this trial. He had those two schmucks give a little open press conference there like he does every freaking day of court and, and attack those people. So basically he was breaking the gag order by proxy. What the F, people? You know, and I, I don't... I don't know if people that support MAGA, you know, MAGAites are are just that they know this that he's that he's a, a serial liar, he's a convicted rapist, they know it and they don't care. Or they hear it and they don't believe it, which is bullshit because it's true. Because if it wasn't true, all the places and all the people that have said these things are true, he would have been suing us 
for slander and defamation and libel and all this shit. All of would have been. For years now. And he's not. So they're true. And you know they're true. He knows they're true. So either if Maggot doesn't believe it, wow, how do you not believe logic in your face? If they believe it and they don't care and they still think he's the orange returning Jesus, then they're probably as, as, as derelict as he is. Of, of character and of morality. He's, they probably aren't any better than he is. They're probably cheaters and liars and thieves and scammers and con artists themselves in one way or another in their lives. They're unfaithful, you know, they're racist, they're bigots, you know, because those are the only kind of people that would, like, lay their life down for this schmuck. Serial rapist, serial liar, serial fraud. And I don't understand how there's like 29% still die hard MAGA. Okay, just just this weekend they had a he in Wildwood, New Jersey. I'm in Jersey had um he had a big rally and he they're saying 80,000 to 100,000 people were there dude they had a space set out that held 20,000 people it wasn't even half full they didn't even have 10,000 people there maybe and they're all saying oh 80,000 100,000 liars liars Liars. Down straight up. Hello, Mr. Raspy Pants. Did you have a good nappy? Oh, excuse me. A good late afternoon nappy? Love you, Rappy. He just got up from his late afternoon nap. Yeah, you're going to be uh, looking for... He, if he puts his... his I was going to say his hands. His front feet on the back of my chair. He wants food. But I filled it up. Oh, he's going over to the... He's looking outside, waiting for the birds and the squirrels, but kids and stuff. It's... What time is it? Seven. So it's like after dinner. Kids are... It's actually nice weather. And when it's nice weather, especially like starting in the spring, all through the summer, I'm right across from the complex playground. My entire... Every window of my apartment faces the playground and so especially like when the kids are out of school they're not out of school yet but especially when it's nice weather like this and it's not cold they'll be out there till after dark because we have a lot of uh, Indian people in the complex and they like to use like at night when they're there to like because there's lights all over the place so it's not like it's dark and what happens is all the kids are in the playground using all the different stuff and I mean they've got a little basketball thing some seesaw some swings a slide I mean seriously and then there's the courtyards too right that are all grassy so what happens is they use it like a socialized time for for the parents and it's also I've noticed it's deleting it's it's divided like men and women like sometimes some nights it'll be all the women out with the kids and they're all on the outside of the of the fenced in playground you know talking to each other in groups and walking around for exercise or whatever around and around and the men are who knows somebody's houses or whatever doing whatever or sometimes it's the men out and it's the women that are maybe walking just they're doing getting you know talking to themselves occasionally you do see there's nights where it's like 10 o'clock it's well past dusk and there were some nights 10 10 o'clock was the last person because kids don't have to get up for school and if the parents are off or something you know but on those nights in the summer that's when the kids are out of school and those nights <laughs> they'll have I mean they'll have the men and the women the moms and the dads out 
but they still like group out male female it's interesting to watch dynamics of another culture so and i've been here two and a half years coming up on three years in september the end of august so um yeah it's interesting to uh to just kind of observe like they'll have fireworks go off like dolly and stuff different holy and you know different different times like there's like a month or so before our fourth of july and then there's like a month or two after that for a week every time like dusk comes as soon as it dusk you know it's not even there yet just around that time for like a week they do the fire not firecrackers but like the the sparkler like the cherry bottle you know the small stuff little bang things um not fireworks um sparklers and cherry bomb type of things on the ground that make a lot of noise and the sparklers are the no. so it is interesting to see um i mean we've got i see other white people i see black people i've seen some asian uh couples families uh, but it does seem, at least this, my part, it's in four phases. It's a very huge complex. But my part does seem to have a lot of uh, Indian families. So I always like to learn about, you know, observe, learn about different cultures, different religions. Just, you know, just see what makes people tick. I've been like that for decades. Decades. <laughs> like two, three, four decades, you know. <laughs> Oh, my raspy and smudgy are both looking out to right now. That's because all the, I was starting to talk about this because all the, I'm starting to hear like some kids and some moms are already been out there a year, about an hour ago, but then they left, probably went in for dinner and they're going to start coming back out again. And I do have to go out and look at my seedlings um, before it gets dark, see if they need anything. But yeah, um... Just wanted to let you all know in case things are not, you know, being known to you. This is what's happening with Donald Donald Trump and the um and his the particular trial he's in now with the hush money stuff. Um and he does this and he's just more and more panicked, which means they're finding all his lies. They're they're finding and proving all his lies it's all coming out he knows even though there's no cameras you know in there's no you know feed he just still knows what's gonna what was said and stuff was going to be you know told nationally so um he's panicking he knows he's screwed he cannot he cannot cover hide people are are no they're not doing it anymore so you know, if you hear any of that shit, it's a crock of crap, okay? He's panicking. He's just using other people. The only reason those two people were there, it wasn't because they were standing up for him, J.D. Vance and, and um, Doofus, <laughs> Dumb Duberville. Um, they weren't standing up for him. They're kissing his ass. He's, he asked for help because he can't do it by himself anymore. He's weak. And now the people that made him look strong have said they, they're enough. He's screwed them so hard for so long that they're all talking. They're all telling the truth now. And he's screwed and he's freaking out and he's scared. And don't believe anything else that's being said because a lot of these like news ma mainstream stuff there's quite a few of them that the business is to make trump and maga look like the moral road and the leftists the criminal leftists you know the democrats are are the the manic you know off center out of control you know, freaks, uh, and it's it's so obvious. Let me just tell you this: there's some secrets that people have learned, and family have told about Donald over these years since 2015. 
Uh, when he stuck his big stupid nose, hello Raspy, back up to Spudgy, into the political scene, he just, he jumps in, he didn't expect to win, it was a lark, then he saw that he had so much power, he realized the President of the United States of America is actually like the most powerful person in the world, because America still currently is like the superpower type of thing. And, um, if a narcissist gets into that position, <laughs> uh, it can be seriously dangerous. I mean, we, if, if the presidency lasted more than four years, I don't know, we might not have, we might not have managed it. If he had been given a few more years in power... He could have refined the system. The people that were still covering for him, like Cohen and stuff, would have refined it so well that, you know, it wouldn't have fallen apart for him. And he would have become a dictator. He would have just stopped elections. Um, a few more years, he would have gotten there. But, thank God, the terms are only four years. Hello! He's bumping my head like a bull shark or a great, or a great white does. He does his little bump buys. <laughs> bump. Kind of move around. Bump. Do again. Are you going to attack me on the third bumps? Huh? He's going to attack me with his claw since he doesn't have the teeth like the shark. The claw works better. It's sharper. Anyway, um, yeah. So, don't believe any of that crap. And if you haven't heard any of that crap... I'm telling you right now what's happening. So, also pay attention, please. I haven't heard another thing. Grindelwald. I don't know if you know, but since May 16th, all the erupting, all the magma, all the lava, all of that's going. I mean, the blue resort there in Iceland. Now we've got um, Campe Fregi, Fregre. It's, it's a volcano. It's not Vesuvius. It's like Vesuvius is, is here and in, in, in Italy and yeah, company. But that sucker, it's getting ready to pop. It's getting re it's past due to pop, and it is getting ready to pop. It's about what 300 miles Italy from from the Iceland from Grindelwald to there, and that's been s probably setting that off. So. I'm not, I'm not hearing about it. I find it on YouTube here. Um, on the Pulse, I, th I think it's called On the Pulse with Silky. Um, she's been covering this. And, and other geolo geographical things, earthquakes and um, volcanoes and things like that. But, you know, remember, currently we're in a, uh, a major solar flare cycle. I mentioned that before. It's... um. <clears throat> The electric, the solar flares are especially large, especially strong, and especially frequent right now in this cycle. It was, it's been like a week or 10 days or something. Um, if you notice your cell calls sometimes take longer to connect or they just don't. They keep calling, calling, and they're just never connecting. Things drop, text is enough dropped, uh, voicemails come late. I mean, all kinds of stuff like that. I noticed are streaming because I don't even have cable it's just internet and that's gone down pops back up it's gone down it's it's like what <laughs> we even had light power and they said they didn't have anything reported no nothing um, and what's going on is as far as that goes um, the solar flares and stuff that creates whether that strong and that frequent for that long a time it creates a very strong electromagnetic field. Well, that will absolutely disrupt um, electronics, digital things like that. Um, it just plays with them. And it's, it's sporadic, it's whatever, whenever. Um, but, and that is also what has been bringing the, uh, people call them the Northern Lights, but it's officially the Aurora Borealis. Why so many people have been able to see it all across this planet who normally will never get the chance to see it because they're not in the normal northern area, you know, like the Iceland up by Maine type of 
in America. I mean, people in the UK, people, you know, down by Florida, a lot of people have seen it, unfortunately. A few mile, uh, I mean, an hour, not even from me, they were supposed to be able to be seen. We were supposed to at least see some foggy color, but of course, for the last week, New Jersey, well, at least where I am, has been like complete cloud cover, barely a break here or there of that, overcast, cloudy, rainy. We got a little break about an hour or so ago for some little bit of partial sun. and <laughs> So we didn't, haven't been able to see the northern lights. Pisses me off because I'm one of the only ones that knew it was coming or it was likely to happen because the electromagnetic field, you know, was intense, intensified. I post this stuff, but nobody freaking pays any attention to it. Post this shit on Facebook. It's so frustrating. I try to let people know, hey, we may be able to see this. Hey, this might be going on. And then when it happens a week or two later, people are like, Oh, wow, I didn't know that was going to happen. I'm like, oh, my God. If you would look and read some of my posts every now and then instead of just pretty pictures or a title, maybe you would have known. Maybe you could have prepared. Ugh, it drives me nuts. People say, wow, I didn't know. I'm like, um, oh, yes. I don't know about mainstream TV, you know, news, but damn, don't you like check on current event shit? Especially natural phenomenon stuff? Dude, that shit affects us. <laughs> it affects us tiny little ants on this planet. You should be kind of like aware. Gee, would a tsunami be coming? Hmm. We just had a, like a tornado hit in Pennsylvania. Okay? We had an earthquake a few weeks, a few months back. We usually get a no, we never get more than 2.5, very rarely. Because anything 2.5 or less, you're not going to really feel on the surface. We had a 4.8, I'm sure y'all have heard about it. A month or so ago, I mean, look, what the hell? <laughs> Earth, Mother Earth, I'm telling you, is doing a lot of sighing and shifting and... You pissed off. <laughs> um, can't blame her. But yeah, uh, pay attention. Just, just try to, try to like reach out of your comfort zone and search for it. Because a, so a lot of you people are say, telling me, oh, I never, I didn't even know, I never saw anything about that. And then once I looked for it, it was, yeah, I, I read other things about it. <sighs> Don't just wait for, like, people like me to tell you, hey, look at current events. What happened today in the world? How about typing that in? Whoa, Google, what happened in my country this year, this today? What happened in my state, my province, my whatever it is? How about what happened in the world on such and such a date? <laughs> You'll get stories that are more than just your town, your state, your country, you know? And like, that, let's put it this way. If, if that, if that Italian volcano pops, like it looks pretty likely, that's a lot of problems. And Grindelwald and Iceland and shit, they're not safe either at this moment. And either of those pop, there's going to be a lot more lives lost than in Pompeii. I can guarantee you that. So, um, remember, Americans that are watching this, most countries are not as spacious and spread out as ours. So, like, Mount St. Helens, when she blew, what she devastated with the ash and everything, the, the actual and the after effects, that's the size of a lot of European and countries and, and Asian and African That's the size of the entire country. 
for us, it was just a section of our country, just, you know, part of our western coast type of area. There was a mass amount left of America, you know. Maybe it took up most of a few states type of thing. But you got you got to remember that when things like a volcano, you know, pops up, that's the entire effing country affected, not just like a tenth of it, you know. I mean, there's a lot more packed into a lot smaller space, so it takes less square footage of damaging a certain amount to destroy everything, as opposed to America, where more things are spread out our important shit, you know, are all in one, the same area, because it's, it's a large space. Um, that, I think that's kind of newsworthy, that stuff, Grindelwald and, and the, um, I don't know, I'm not sure, I, I don't know Italian, Campi, uh, Campi, Campi, C-A-M-P-I, and then F-L-E, R, F-L-R, F L E G R E I, I think it is El Flegro, Flegre. I'm not sure. Um, apparently, I I stink at Italian, but that's the the soup. It's actually a super volcano, like Mount Mount St Helens, a super volcano. Um, we actually have super volcanoes in America. Uh, so yeah. So, if you haven't heard about that, y'all might want to learn a little bit. Also, the crap that's been going on in Gaza, Netanyahu, man, I feel for the Israeli people, but Netanyahu, man, yeah, he's, he's not, he's, he's effing his own people. And, and, you know, I don't obviously stand for behind Hamas, but I do the Palestinian people. So, keep in back, and never forget Ukraine, we finally got the Republicans in the House to get off their ass, and Mac Mike Johnson said, screw you, MAGA, I, I have to do this, and he went ahead and, the bill went through, finally, so they should be, if they haven't already started getting some help, Ukraine. But remember, there's that going on, too. But then again, we might just have all volcanoes and <laughs> and and electric, electromagnetic storms and earthquakes that just take care of the problem anyway by themselves. So on that happy note, <laughs> what a lovely note I've left you on. Uh-oh. Raspy doing the shark bumps. He's doing his circles. That's the second one. He'll bump my leg with his head, walk around my feet, come all the way back. And they, that's what bull sharks do before they attack. I don't have a cat dog. I have a, a cat shark. <laughs> Not a catfish, cat shark. Anyway, peace out, everybody. Have a great evening. Pay attention. This shit matters. <laughs>